As you may have already seen by the title of today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to build a data portfolio from scratch step by step as a data analyst. And to make it much easier, I have broken this video into four different parts. And so feel free to skip any of these parts whenever you're ready. So let's jump right into the video. So first off, what exactly is a data analyst portfolio? Think of a data portfolio as a collection of projects that you have worked on as has solving actual business problems to be able to prove your skill sets as a data analyst, right? So for instance, you have been learning Excel a lot on your own, whether in a bootcamp or on your own, and you know, but how to exactly prove that you know how to use the Excel, right? You have to do some work with it. All you have to do with it, maybe clean some data, do some visualizations, and the project comes in when you're able to document all that you have done and show the proof of what you've done. Having a collection of multiple projects with the same tool or different other tools is what, it is, is what we call a data portfolio, right? I also tend to think about data portfolio as your business card because it's that one thing that's able to prove your skill sets on the ground and make you less forgettable than other people in the space. So let's keep that in mind, right? Now, the second part is why exactly do you or I need a data portfolio in the first place? Because remember, the thing is in my head. So why should I? come in trying to meet it all over again. Well, the reason for that is because data analytics and its role, it's a very practical one. And no hiring manager is going to take that risk of hiring you because you say you know how to do something, right? You should be able to have that proof, right, of what you say you can do. So with all of this in mind, right, the other thing that makes data portfolio more important is that it's able to give you that confidence okay because it's one thing to learn multiple data tools but be able to do a project on it and then compile multiple of these projects to a portfolio gives you that an extra layer right to be able to uh, get go for that job interview or land that next job as data analyst undoubtedly the data portfolio is very important not just for you or the hiring manager but even for you when it comes to job market because now you can be looking at other push products and then be able to stay as competitive as possible so that you're top of your game than being complacent in where you are at the moment, right? So right now, I am fully aware of what exactly a portfolio is and why exactly it is needed. My next question is, what if I have projects I've been working on already? Why don't I just link it to my CV, for instance, and we can go and become a portfolio from my Power BI link or other sources, right? Why do I have to stress myself too much about what exactly my portfolio is and why I have to get myself put together? Is it not even expensive in the first place for the portfolio? And my answer is no, based on what you're looking for, right? Remember how I said that the portfolio is collection of projects? So you being able to have that portfolio to be able to help you have everything that anybody needs from you as a data analyst, whether as a consultant or an employer, in one place, making it easier for every single person, right? But it doesn't mean that you have to now go and build the whole portfolio platform from scratch like a developer, not at all. There are actually free websites that are able to help you post your portfolios as many as possible there. So in this particular series, we'll be looking at three main platforms that we can be able to host our portfolios on, starting with the very easiest, which is Marvel Analytics. So why don't you just jump on my screen and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you type in Marvel Analytics in your Google browser and choose the first option that pops up on your screen. And once you do that, you'll be taken to the Marvel Analytics platform click on start learning for free that is where you're able to sign up and then be able to access the portfolio that you want for your projects so you do that and you see here that there are available plans there but do not worry because we have the startup plan and that is what we are going to be working with click on startup plan which is for free 
and get started for free at the bottom. Once you do that, you'll be taken to an interface for you to sign up. You can do that either manually or with the Google account. I choose my Google account, so click on that and quickly I'll sign into Marvin or sign up for Marvin Analytics using my Google account. Once that is said and done, I'd have to enter or fill some answer some questions basically on the Marvin Analytics platform, like where I heard about the platform from, just from Google the first time, or I want to the platform for to build my projects, my portfolio for my projects, and the other part like uploading your profile, which usually I mean for the purpose of this tutorial you can skip or the goals that you want to achieve you can also skip that as well or answer it's fairly up to you but if you are able to complete this part it makes your profile more enticing to look at right once you're done with that you'll be taken to the dashboard view but remember we are here for our portfolio so you just go straight to portfolio or the left side click on that and you have the portfolio interface so if we had added a if we had added a picture in the beginning that you're just able to see that here but we are here for our projects to build our portfolio so right at the bottom you would see add a new project click on that to add our project so that we can start with our portfolio hosting now for your portfolio for your portfolio's project to be amazing you first have to have a title for the purpose of this tutorial, I have the title, the excerpt, and then the description all put together. So I'll quickly copy and paste all of those items here so that we can get right onto it. The title is very important because it helps to give a description of what we are going to be looking at in the first place, right? So we add the title. Once again, remember the title has to be as um, descriptive and enticing as possible because it should make me want to click on it right my title here is data driven optimization for cookie shop because i did a project in excel about cookie sales and predictions and the next part is to add an image right about the project that speaks to the project and because i'm looking at the cookie is the products about cookie sales and analytics i'm going to my google browser again open a new tab and just searching up cookies right the whole goal here is able to find an image about a cookie and then have it um, as sort of like a, a as, as an as a, as a featured image for lack of a better word right for the for the projects i'm putting in my portfolio so i like this image in particular so i'll just save the image and then click on upload in the mobile analytics profile and then that has been uploaded now now for the project except is where you would have to well give something like a goal about the project right so the goal here was analyze the sales trends and do some optimizations for the cookie shop that i was um, analyzing data for right and then you can see here as well that i just updated to add my project description right it doesn't have to always be this long but i chose it like this because it's more descriptive and shows you what i or how exactly I went about the project from the beginning to the end, right? After that, you'd have to save the project or save your changes that you've done to this particular page so that you don't lose that, okay? Next up, what I did, you see very shortly, is that I clicked on the tools and data part, right? Now, what the tools and data does is that it gives you the chance to be able to select the kind of tool that I use for your projects in this case I used Excel so I'll just check the Excel box and then we also have the chance to add multiple tools so maybe added Excel SQL and Python you add that as well but in this case I just use Excel so I'm going to stick with Excel then in the event we have additional images that you want to add to your project right you see the changes of course on the tools and data page first and then you can click on additional images to add any other images available right this will make more sense in a situation where you have some visualizations in your cookie project that you want to be able to add to show that hiring manager or consultant agency or whatever that you're going to the portfolio for show that okay you actually did the work in this case i have none so i'll not be showing that as well we also have embed media that allows you to be able to embed certain kinds of media into your portfolio right 
remember not all projects are static like my excel for instance right you may want to have maybe a power bi dashboard for instance that shows the interactivity of what's actually built so i just add the name of that power bi dashboard and then under the embed media type here you will see very soon that there are other options available right you can add a power bi dashboard or a tableau or any other interactive media right for your portfolio as you can see here right and then apart from the types of media that you can embed here you can also choose the aspect ratio right that's about how is that going to be presented to whoever to practice in the end i don't have any media so i didn't add that Marvin challenges tailored to who has a Marvin analytics platform to so forget about that then we have the preferences preferences parts is where you can just allow turn all off things that you want to happen on your portfolio or on that particular project if you want people to comment on it or like on that turn that on or off and then you are good to go right it will make more sense when you see the full picture at the end okay and that we are done you can either view your project or maybe delete a project but this time we went through all of this work to view our projects right so we kindly click on view project to see the final outlook of our project that we just put together and just took less than five minutes given we have everything prepared in the first place so this is what i just put together some few minutes ago data driven optimization for cookie shop by me my full name is there and the kind of tool that i selected is going to show up as well in this case is excel remember how i was talking about what i can turn comment or likes on or off that's what we show you because i had my own and off i had my own throughout right and those are the product description as well and you can see other comments if any people let comment there you can see that there as well right so all of this is like one project right within your portfolio on map analytics in the events where you want to share that click on the share and copy the link and check whoever wants to look at that right but remember what they would see it is a link to this particular project okay now I spoke earlier on about how you can also see other people's projects as well so you can use that to to inform how I put yours together right and to find that click on the showcase tab in Marvel analytics and here you see all other projects that people have done in the platform so this is one on healthcare and you can either use a filter to find trending items or specific industries right that you want to work you do your projects in so here I'm looking for healthcare and you can see the other healthcare projects that I can draw some insights or have some ideas to make even my projects much better, right? But let's go back and let's look for what products in general, right? And here, what I'm trying to do is to be able to understand what other people are doing, right? But remember, we don't know anybody here, right? So this one, that is why it's important in the first place to make sure that your project title is as inviting as possible. So for me, I'm going to look at this particular project because the title looks quite interesting to me, right? So click on that and you see that this particular person puts an image of their Power BI dashboard since it's a Power BI dashboard, right? And in my case where I put the cookie picture, she chose to put in the Power BI dashboard, which is totally fine as well, right? So we have that here as i was trying to talk about so this is my own and this is their own right nothing changes it's all about how best you want to communicate the idea and for this person's description you see here that they have taken their time to put in the project details where they use some dax formulas to put that here as well which i think is very interesting and beautiful to look at right so you can just come to the showcase part of analytics and then explore all other people's projects that is there right and make here the sun shines basically because there are so many people out there that you can learn from right this is what we have for this particular person if this person has more projects you can see that from that as well and we will we'll go back to the project interface again of other people and there are other people's stuff they can look at so i'm looking at this particular spotify replay the 13 to 24 and you see here that here this is power bi so the tool that they use is here and this person too used a screenshot of their particular um what they're trying to communicate about the project right 
now here you see that they didn't add the images what i did was to embed their media here so this is actually an interactive power bi dashboard right so whatever i click here or do here it's going to be um, interactive right it's going to reflect on the dashboard right and i think this is an amazing platform for anybody who wants to build their portfolio from scratch without any hassle without any code in the process right there are also details about their projects as well okay so it doesn't mean that the fact that you have an interactive dashboard so you stay at that right you have to be able to um you have to be able to speak to that particular visualization that you've done right at the bottom to uh, that i just scrolled by you see other discussions and feedback that was added to the project so maybe say thank you or give insights or recommendations with the project specter right so that's what we have for map analytics so now you may be thinking okay this feels pretty easy and to be honest it is and not as scary as others shall make it look like out there the data space get a portfolio together is fairly easy if you know where to go or where to look at now if you are interested in seeing what other experts and what their portfolios look like i suggest i look at the link i have in the description from career foundry that shows you a plethora of data analysts and data scientists in this space and how the portfolios look like. This can help you in addition to what we just saw from Marvel Analytics to put your portfolio together nicely and beautifully. I'll see you in the next video where I talk about the other two platforms that you can also use for free as a data analyst to boost your data portfolio. See you next time.